Hi there, this is Mina once again and many times we have heard Android enthusiasts saying Nova Launcher is one of the best thing that has happened to Android and I agree with them. It is powerful, offer customization and can turn the ugly skins of Chinese phones into beautiful stock-like experience. Now I did a video on Nova Launcher tips and tricks a year ago which if you haven't already watched then check that out first. But since then Nova Launcher has released many new features which I almost enjoy every single day. So in this video I am going to share with you some of those new Nova Launcher tips and tricks and with that being said let's get started. Now I am one of those guys who like to keep the desktop minimal. I don't like to have much icons on my home screen. So let's say if I have to book a cab, I will open the app drawer and then either I can scroll or find my application or search for it in the search bar. Now let's see how we can do it efficiently using Nova Launcher. So if I tap and hold on this swipe indicator, this little arrow down here, then it will open the app drawer search. Now if it is an app that I don't use frequently, then I can simply search for it by its name. And if it's a recent or the most used application, then it will automatically come in the quick suggestion menu. And trust me, 90% of the time when I have to open a new application, I can simply scroll down to these three panels. Though yes, at first you will have to build a habit of long pressing this swipe indicator. Now in my previous Nova Launcher video, I have told you guys about the hidden swipe feature. Like if I tap on the Google Play icon, then it will open the Google Play Store. But if I swipe up the Google Play icon, then it will open my Chrome application. Similarly, if I swipe up my phone app, then it will call my roommate number. Or the same way I can set up the studio app to open when I swipe up the YouTube application. But there is more. Some of you might already know in Android 7.1, Google has introduced a new app shortcut feature where if you long press on the certain application, then it will bring up additional options, kind of like iPhone's force touch. And well, thanks to Nova Launcher, you get the similar feature on any phone running Android Lollipop or higher. For instance, if I long press on the YouTube application, then it will bring up the trending and subscription option. I don't even have to open the app and then navigate to these options. Similarly, if I long press on the maps, then it will bring up the quick shortcut to my save location, that is home and work. Or if I long press on the play store, then it will get the shortcut to my apps. However, this doesn't work for every situation. For instance, if I long press on the camera app, then ideally it should have given me the options to take a selfie or record a video, right? Just like how you see in Android 7.1. But that doesn't happen because this is still in beta and many developer has to first support this feature in their application. Now I'm not a big fan of Google Now Launcher, but one of my favorite feature there was if you swipe from the left, it will show you all your Google Now cards. But unfortunately, this don't work and probably never work in Nova Launcher. But why? Well, because Google has restricted third-party application to have access to Google Now Cards API. But there is a quick way to fix that. All you have to do is map your home button to open Google Now Cards. So right now, if you press and hold the home button, it opens the Google Now on tab, right? Which is quite underrated feature in my opinion. But anyways. You can also set a Google Now Cards instead of it. So if you now press the home button, it will open Google Card instead and wait for it. The best part is this will only work in your home screen. So if you are in some application and then press your home icon, it will open Google Now and tap just like it usually do. But when you are in your home screen and then press the home button, it will open Google Now Cards. So to do this, just go to Nova Launcher settings and then press and hold the volume down button. This will bring up the secret lab menu and from there select the second option that says long press for Google Now Cards. And that's it. Now just shares are not a new feature in Nova Launcher. It has been there for a while. But just in case you are not using it, you are missing out a lot and this is why I have to include this. So the most popular gestures are swipe down from one finger will bring up your notification tray. Swipe up will bring up the app drawer. And if you double tap on your home screen, it will lock your phone. Though I prefer to open Google Voice search this way. So if you are not using gestures, you should definitely use it. And yes, they have also added some new gestures in the Nova Launcher 5 update. 
which you can find under the Nova launcher settings like this double tap and swipe up or swipe down. Overall gestures are one of my favorite feature of Nova launcher and you should definitely use them. Now I'm pretty sure most of you have not heard about this feature as it was released just a month ago. Okay so traditionally if you get a message on WhatsApp or an email or even a missed call nothing shows up in your app icon right? However, if you have set up the Tesla Unread plugin, then you can see the Unread number badges. Like the number of missed calls in the messages that you have get. But you can make it even better. Instead of getting the numbers, which hardly means anything, you can set the pictures of the person who have sent you an email or message you on WhatsApp. Though, to do this, you will have to first get the beta version of Nova Launcher. I will put the link in the description below. And then go to your Nova Launcher settings and set the notification badges to dynamic. And from now on, you can see who have texted or call you directly from the app icon. No need to open the application or pull the notification tray. Well, this is all for now. Yes, there are some other Nova Launcher features that I haven't covered in this video, like creating a tab in the new app drawer or the newly added screen timer. But since I don't use them, I figure I should not cover them as well. But anyways, I would like to know your opinion on Nova Launcher and how do you use it effectively. So let me know in the comment section below. And yes, this Saturday I am hosting the first Q&A video. So if you have any question, now is the time. So I will have the link to that video in the description of this video. Go ahead and check that out. And that's pretty much it. I will see you this Saturday. And like always, thank you for watching.